This is FFA Poultry Judging, Class 5, Carcass Placing. Class 5 is a placing class of four ready-to-cook chicken or turkey carcasses. Each chicken carcass will weigh more than two pounds, but not more than six pounds. Each turkey carcass will weigh more than six pounds, but not more than 16 pounds. If you notice, the carcasses will be placed in pans, usually, or suspended from shackles, and be numbered one through four. It's important for students to determine the grade of each carcass based on USDA grading standards. Items such as feathers, pin feathers, hair, preen glands, visible scales, excess skin, and medullary bone are not considered in this class. So it's important for students not to use those criteria when judging the carcasses and determining the grade of the carcasses. Students should prepare a piece of paper with the number of the chicken and a column for the grade to be labeled. Now we look at each chicken individually to determine the grade. We'll start with chicken number one. On close visual examination, we look for things like broken bones that are either protruding or non-protruding, torn skin, missing meat, dislocated bones, cut tail, or other types of defects. In this case, we notice that there's a missing wing. An entire wing is missing from this chicken. Therefore, this chicken is a grade C. The rest of the chicken may be visually inspected as well, just to see if there are any other defects. Although, in this case, it will not change the grade. It's already a grade C. Student would then write down the grade of the chicken next to the number of the chicken. Looking at chicken number two, we do a visual inspection on this one as well carefully examining the skin, looking for broken bones, protruding bones, missing wings, missing other parts, missing meat, tail cuts, and so forth. We notice that there are no missing wings or any disjointed parts, but as we go around the chicken we notice that one leg is broken. And this leg is broken, and it's easy to determine that it's broken because when it's compared to the other leg, which is completely straight, you notice that this leg is angling downward and is clearly uh, broken, but the bone is non-protruding. Therefore, it is a broken, non-protruding bone in one uh, leg of the chicken, and this downgrades the chicken to a grade B. That means, barring any other defects on this carcass, this chicken is a grade B. We visually examine the rest of the chicken to make sure that there are no other defects that will downgrade the chicken further. For example, if there were a missing wing, or a broken and protruding bone, or a large skin tear on either the leg or the breast, that would downgrade the chicken to a C. However, since none of those defects are present, this chicken is a grade B. The student would then go back to the notepad and write the grade for the chicken, which is a B, next to the number for the chicken. Next, we continue with chicken number three, and we start a visual examination of the chicken. We look for skin tears, we look for damage to wings and legs. If you'll notice, the wing tips have been removed from this chicken. That's still acceptable for a grade A carcass. Also, we evaluate around the area where the abdominal cut occurred. This is a typical abdominal cut, is called an evisceration cut, and it's not used to judge the chicken. It is not used to downgrade the chicken either. If you look at the tail, it's evenly cut with the body. The tail has been removed, but it's not cut into the body cavity. So this is still a grade A bird. Because this chicken doesn't have any broken, unexposed, or exposed bones, no torn skin, no meat missing, and only the wing tips and tail removed even with the body. It is a grade A carcass. Students should then go back to their notepad and mark the grade of the chicken next to the number of the chicken.
Finally, we look at chicken number four, and again we do a visual inspection of the chicken to make sure that there are no torn skin areas or broken wings or dislocated bones and so forth. And what we notice as we go around looking at this chicken is it has a large evisceration cut, but again, this is not used in judging the chicken. It has the tail, there are no tail cuts, there are no skin uh, tears or cuts, but there is a half missing wing. In this case, the wing has been cut in half. The drumette is still attached to the body of the chicken, but the flat has been removed. Because the wing has been cut in half and is missing, this is considered a grade B carcass. Once again, the student should refer to their notepad and write down the grade of the chicken, which is a B, next to the number of the chicken, which was number four. Once this has been done, then the student can decide how to place the chickens. It's easy for students to determine which chicken would be the best and first in the order. That's the grade A chicken. And which is the worst and last in the order. That's the grade C chicken. But how do we determine which one should be placed first amongst the two grade B chickens? I think that the grade B chicken that has a missing part is a worse downgrade than a chicken that has a broken non-protruding bone. So I would say that the broken non-protruding bone chicken should be placed higher in the order and the missing half the wing chicken should be placed lower in the order. So now we have our final placing. So now we have the correct placing. 3 is the chicken that was the A-grade carcass, 2 was the B-grade carcass with the broken non-protruding bone, 4 was the B-grade carcass with the half-missing wing, and 1 was the C-grade carcass with the entire wing missing. This is the easiest way to place the chickens.